Tonight in the Fox Files, emergency action at an Arnold apartment complex where inspectors are telling renters they must move out for their safety. All new at 9, Fox Files investigator Chris Hayes found out about the action, which is leaving some families wondering where they're going to go. Here on Crosswinds Drive in Arnold, four apartment units were just red tagged, unfit for human occupancy. The renters must move out, but two of them told Fox 2 off camera they're not going because they have nowhere else to go. Arnold City inspectors last week documented this ceiling collapse in one of the units, a concern with a ceiling in a bathroom, a door that won't close due to rot, and a lot of reported roaches and roach droppings. The impacted renters would not talk to us on camera, but neighbors told us they've heard about what's going on and they sympathize. That's the one thing that I'm more concerned about is where they go, how are they going to get there? Because why are they just now at the last minute being told that they're getting kicked out? What do they do with their things? I think it's very unfortunate that they have to move out, but um, luckily we got a great apartment, so and our landlords have really done what they need to to make sure ours are kept up to date. Residents on this street say there are about four different landlords for the buildings here and that some of those landlords keep their properties in great shape. You can sometimes tell from the outside where some buildings have newer roofs. These driveways I'm standing on illustrate the difference between landlords with this driveway being one landlord and this another. It's sporadic like you go from here to I know one the, both these buildings have two different landlords. That is a different landlord. At the end of the street, another building that was red tagged so long ago, the stickers are now faded. Building inspectors shut it down in July of 2023, and neighbors say it has not been occupied since. Unfortunately, they're not all kept up to date, so some of the floors are crooked, cabinets are falling off. The landlord responsible for the latest flagged units did not answer my call or return my voicemail. We noticed two other landlords actively working on other buildings. They told us off camera they're very involved in their properties and working on them regularly. Hackman says she can tell. I feel very lucky. Uh, housing isn't great for a lot of people right now. So ours is very, definitely very affordable and manageable and um, convenient. It's a lesson to always check with a neighbor about a place you're thinking about moving into. Usually the neighbors know the tea on what's going on on that street or with that property or what's been going on around there. For the Fox Files, I'm Chris Hayes.